Hey there, good looking. I'm so glad that you made it to my kitchen today to sit there and see what we all have cooking. Well, grab a hold of that vine, swing right on into my kitchen, and let's get cooking. Good looking. Well, as you can see from my set here today, I'm going to be bringing you all along in making some more moonshine recipes. Now, in the past, I showed you how to make the apple pie moonshine for such things as Thanksgiving. Well, what about all them summertime grill outs and cookouts and all? Or going to see the 4th of July fireworks or maybe going to a family reunion or graduations or just to have on hand. Well, Right here, in my little trusty jar, we already sat there and have made up green apple moonshine. But it's already made, so I can't sit there and show you how to make that. But instead, I can bring you along and show you how I make watermelon moonshine out of what? out of Jolly Rancher candies and a bartender's uh, syrup. So I'm going to zoom you on in and we're going to go through the whole list of ingredients and we're going to sit there and make watermelon moonshine. Well let's get cooking. Good looking. Now to make that bartender's syrup it's really easy all you're gonna need is two cups and I have my two cups of sugar already ready to go into my saucepan and you're gonna need one cup of water so let me grab a hold of my pan we're going to sit there and mix these two up. We're going to take it over to the stove and we're going to sit there and get making that bartender syrup. Okay, before I zoom you all in, let's just go through the list of ingredients. <coughs> I'm so sorry. I have my pan here. We're going to sit there and dump two cups of sugar, one cup of water. Now, I'm going to sit there take this over to the stove. For the rest of our ingredients, you're going to need to get yourself some either grain alcohol or you can sit there and use Everclear. 90 proof. Then you're going to sit there and need at least and no less than 15 Jolly Ranchers. You choose what flavor you want to do, but for today's video, I'm doing watermelon. So I'm going to sit there. And like I said, I made uh, green apples. I'm in a mason jar here. And I can't start making moonshine without taking a swig of what I've already made. So, uh, that is to die for. So we're going to just set that off to the side. I'm going to grab my pan. I'm going to take it over to my stove. We're going to melt that sugar and that water together to make a bartender syrup. Now, before we take this over to the stove, take your spoon and mix up the water and the sugar. Put it over high heat at the stove 
and we're just gonna sit there and melt all that sugar. Okay, Harley, watch out. I'm sorry, my dog's in the way right now, but we're over at the stove and we're just gonna mix this all up until all the sugar melts, the water and sugar become one, it comes up to a, a boil. Meanwhile, while you're waiting for this to all come up to a boil, we're going to sit there and unwrap at least 50 of the uh, watermelon Jolly Ranchers. Let's take another look at how our simple syrup is looking. Ooh yeah. It's just starting to come to a simmer, but I'm going to continue unwrapping all my watermelon candies. Now remember, no less than 15 of the Jolly Rancher watermelon candies. Okay. I have my candies all ready to go. Now, you can use more than 15. I said no less than 15. So, if you want more watermelon tasting, go ahead and unwrap more than the 15 that we need. So, I'm just gonna continue unwrapping all my candies and getting them ready for my bartender simple syrup. Keep unwrapping them. I think you're really gonna enjoy this simple moonshine recipe of mine. But I'm gonna sit there, stop the chit chat because you don't need to sit there and watch me unwrap all of these candies or for my simple syrup to come all up to a boil. We're back over to the stove. I'm just checking out on my simple syrup. The sugar is melting just like I told you it would. Here it is. I told you it will all become melted and clear. Now, here's my watermelon candy that I unwrapped. And remember, it's Jolly Rancher and I'm... Oop. Now, remember, I'm using Jolly Rancher watermelon candies. Now I'm just going to unwrap this very last one. We're going to sit there and place the candies all down inside. Now careful when you're adding these. I don't want to sit there and see anybody get burnt. But we're just going to sit there add these. We're going to stir them. And Simply what we're doing is we're just melting the hard candy to go back down into a liquid form into the bartender's syrup. So I'm going to sit there and add all the candies and we're going to commence melting them all down until we get this watermelon simple syrup. So we'll be back when I'm all done. Now as your candies are melting they're gonna start turning your simple syrup into that color. Just as I showed you the green apple, well that's all green in color. This is going to have like a pink hue. 
so mm -hmm. we're just going to keep stirring. And as soon as these all melt, we'll take it from there. Ah, oh, that heavenly smell of watermelon. Mm -mm -mm. Now, I just want to give you a little tip and trick. The longer that it sits inside your jar with the Everclear, it's just going to get better with time. Okay, can you see how it's just starting to really melt at this point? Be sure to keep stirring it. And have a little patience. This does take a little bit of time, not that much. But before you know it, all the watermelon candies are going to be all melted into this bartender's simple syrup. And basically, what you have is watermelon syrup. Okay. It's almost all the way melted. I'll say another 30 seconds or so. I'm going to have no more candies to melt. And I can bring this back over to my work surface. And we're just going to bring this back down to room temperature. Mmm, does this smell good? Now... I brought it back over. All my watermelon candy has all melted into my bartender syrup. Bring this back down to room temperature because we do not want to sit there and add the Everclear when this is hot. It'll just burn off all the alcohol. So, we're going to sit there impatiently wait for this all to come back down to the room temperature okay now while we're waiting for our ben our bartender syrup to sit there and cool down to room temperature I'm gonna sit there and talk to you about some ways that you would present this as a gift now, one of them ways is you can sit there and put it into a real nifty little moonshine jar that has a handle or go down to the Dollar Tree, get yourself a simple glass candle holder, go in your collection of canning jars, go ahead, grab one of them nicely quilted ones grab some uh, super glue glue the quilt canning jar right on top of your candle holder and there you have some redneck china you decide which way you're gonna go But I think while I'm waiting, I'm just going to sit there and pour my simple syrup, like what I have here, with a green apple, just into a regular canning jar. So I can sit there and put this with all my bar goodies. Okay, I brought my jar over, and I'm just going to sit there and simply pour all my watermelon syrup right into my jar and I have a little bit extra for the chef that did not fit into my pint sized jar now usually what I do is I'll pour some in my glass as such I will pour the equal amount of my Everclear into said soul glass and then 
the rest of the way, I will add ice. So let's go ahead and let's do that. All right, my simple syrup has cooled down enough where we're not going to burn off any of the Everclear that we're going to put inside of our jar. Now, like I said, I usually do this in thirds. I have the bottom third filled up with our watermelon uh, bartender syrup. We're going to put one third of the grain alcohol in. Let's go ahead and do that. A little bit more. And then simply, I just go over to my ice maker. So I'm going to go grab some ice. I have my ice in there. Now I'm gonna grab a canning lid and a canning ring. I have my canning lid. I have my canning ring. We're just gonna sit there, put that all on. And I'm just gonna shake until the moonshine and my watermelon bartender syrup all mixes. Okay, as you see, everything is all mixed up. Now, the longer you let this sit, the better it gets. Now, you could use it right away, but if you wanted to get better with time, I would leave it sit. Now, you could drink it just as it is, like how I like it, or you could sit there and pour off some of this into a separate uh, canning jar or into your bartending glasses and add some of the simple syrup and then finish it off with something like a Sprite or a 50-50 mix but me I like drinking it just as it is right here as you see, I've been sipping. Hey, 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 hey. Eyes off of my watermelon. I made you the green apple. Watermelon's mine, old man. <laughs> As you see, my old man's anxious to get out his hands on this green apple. <laughs> but let's go through the list of ingredients. Two cups sugar. One cup of water, 15 hard candies. Now you decide what flavor you're going with. I went with watermelon. We brought that all up to a boil. We added our candies. We melted our candies down. We put the rest of it all into our canning jar here. And then I put one third of the watermelon bartender syrup into my jar. One third of our Everclear here. I put some ice in. I shook it all up because that's how I like mine. Now, if you like yours a little bit more diluted, go ahead, add some Sprite. A lot of people do. There's no wrong doing in that. I mean, I'm not saying you have to sit there and drink your, you know, yours <laughs> like I drink mine. And I'm gonna sit there and leave you off with Happy Holidays. If you liked what you saw here today, go ahead, give me a big old thumbs up. If you're not yet a subscriber, go up. 
hit that little subscribe button, tap that little bell. That way you always be notified every time I do put out a new video. And as always, here's to happy cooking, but better yet, happy eatings. Y'all come back now, you hear? Now, I don't know if I did this before, but I had to take one for the team here. So, happy holidays. Oh yeah, mama happy. Until next time, I'll be seeing you.